We can approach our day in many ways. We can approach our work week in many ways. Um, but this morning, I'm approaching mine in a place of gratitude because there's not enough testimonies that come out. There's not enough of the good that is happening that really gets told. And um, I get fought a lot on this thing. I'm doing this project of, um, for those of you that are, are with me, I thank you. Um, your support is tremendous. Um, for those of you that don't know, what we're doing is we're reading the New Testament in 30 days. And let me tell you, it is empowering and we are seeing God move. And the latest thing I want to tell you is, um, you know what? It's Robert. You know, shout out to you, Robert. This is awesome. Glory be to God. We got into a conversation on Saturday um, and we prayed, we being the believers that were right there on that live, um, on that live broadcast that day, as we're reading the new Testament, we got into it and he wanted to receive the Holy ghost. And yesterday he did. We prayed on Saturday and Sunday, God answered his prayer. Um, that is such a huge thing. It is so empowering. Um, the boldness that comes with this and the direction and the guidance and it just changes everything. Yes, there's an indwelling that happens when you get saved, but oh, the power that comes with the filling, the infilling, the being baptized in the Holy Ghost, the submitting yourself completely to the Lord. And many times, y'all, this is when he not only becomes savior over your life, but he becomes Lord. So I'm super excited for Robert and I want to glorify God. You know, his goodness needs to be spoken. He's a good, good father.